Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my channel. We are today, Tuesday, February 21st, 2017. And the particular topic discussion that we are going to have today is in regards to the United States of America. Um, I know that in one of my videos that I made for you before, I was reflecting back on my time over in the U.S. I omitted a lot of things, of course. And um, this morning, <clears throat> I woke up, actually yesterday, yesterday afternoon, um, I woke up, if you, one thing that I, I'll just share, like, I grew up in the hip hop era, so I really am an avid listener to um, music from Tupac Shakur, um, Bon Talks and Harmony, all of these, um, you know, the rap era around the 90s. I really grew up listening to them, and yesterday morning, I just, all that I could think about was um, Tupac, and I just, this morning again, I was just like, just thinking. And I just decided that I wanted to come forth with two topics. Now, these topics are going to have, be a little bit different because they are just questions that I'm just going to put out there. And um, these questions are just for you, for the general public, for you to reflect back on. <clears throat> As a Haitian woman, uh, many of us, I don't only think that it's a Haitian thing. I think many people hate the U.S. I think many people, even Americans, trust me, I think many Americans do not like their countries because of the, you know, what the government of that particular country is doing. So um, I was able to pull through. And one of the reasons that I was able to pull through um, my time over there is because I knew exactly what kind of a country that I was going into when I went back in the summer of 2015. Whereas when my parents decided to let me um, stay in the U.S. about, <clears throat> oh my God, years ago, in the year 2000, 2000 exactly, um, I was, a, I was a, a kid. I was a kid who was enamorated with the United States, wanted to be there. Oh, you know, thinking that Haiti was trash, you know, you could not tell me anything. I just wanted to be over there, just like many people that I'm still seeing who still don't have that particular opportunity to come to the U.S. are very infatuated with the United States. And then once, once they get there, they, they are realizing that it's not a, a real dream. So today, I just wanted to come forth and kind of like, let's talk about the United States. So what should you know about the U.S.? <clears throat> what kind of a country is the United States, okay? These are all things that I'm putting out there for you to think about. Now, what kind of a country is it? And I put background, of course, I'm reading from my notes, guys, so please bear with me. Um, I put what kind of a country is it? Background and history knowledge. You really, as a person who wants to um, go back, go live in the U.S., you need to know their background, their history, how was it founded, what is the history of this particular, that particular country, all right? What kind of a government do they have? Very important to figure this out. A lot of us who want to go places. We are still believing that it is, it is a country that offers a lot of opportunity, don't get me wrong. However, you have to know where to go about and get these opportunities. Now, what kind of government, you know, how is this country governed? You know, so you need to figure this out. And it is not only for the United States. Those of you who want to come to Haiti will also need to apply these particular questions to Haiti in order for you to maneuver a little bit better, all right? What is their objective and goal? What is the objectives and goal of the United States of America, especially now in the 21st century? What is it exactly do they have in their agenda? If you don't understand their agenda, then there's two things that can, that can happen if you don't understand their agenda. The first thing that can happen is that you are going to fall victim of them. So you're going to go there, you're going to not know their agenda, you're probably going to be like everyday people, you know, and you're going to fall victim of whatever it is that they have for you. Now, the other thing that can happen is that you can not know their agenda and you just, you get there and you're completely out of the loops. You can't find your pace. 
you can't find yourself you just don't know what to do and you're just regressing in your own personal you know growth all right so i put um parentheses i'm recording from the day there are it looks like we have a couple of constructions going on in my area so that's why you hear some noise all right so i put how do they treat their citizens i don't even think i need to further elaborate okay how much value does the united states put on human capital before you answer these questions think about it what is the value they do they put on you an individual a human and you can assess that by looking at their health care, their educational system, just them in general. What kind of a, hmm, okay, better listen to me now. All right. Um, what is their relationship with other countries? How is the United States the rapper internationally? How do other countries perceive them? All right. These are all things that you need to listen and figure out in order to really get the best out of that particular country. For those of you who are not yet there, and for those of you who are there who can't find your, your place in it, all right? What is their interest with a live country? Now, they claim that Canada is their ally, you know, um, Great Britain, uh, England. Why? You know what is their interest with these particular countries why is it that I, I don't know if you ever went to um canada from the u.s and if you've ever done it you know in the bus and if you have don't you notice such a different and distinct differences see when we're crossing the borders and when we are entering canada as u.s citizen Canadians are always the, the border patrol people. They are always very courteous with us. If you forget something, then they'll wait, they'll call a particular family member. If you, any type of issue, it, it, it would have to be something very odd for you to get a hold in the Canadian border, all right? The border patrol agents over there are always extremely courteous, like very pleasant. Whereas, the minute you enter the U.S., these people act as if they are dogs. You, they bark. That's how they treat you. They bark their orders. They don't have any courtesy with Canadian citizens. They really don't. They don't have any courtesy. They don't even have any courtesy for U.S. Um, individuals. So whenever you are entering, and that's prior to this time right now with the current president who is changing things, you had border patrol people. It's almost as if they are on edge. That's the problem. That's why we also have to, excuse me, that's why we also have to dive into, um, you know, what's been going on with the police brutality. The police are always on edge. Border patrol people are always on edge. So they're always ready to anticipate something else. So what is it? Why are they like that? What kind of training are they getting? What are they telling them in their training? how is the united states with its allies country because if you are from canada and the united states has pretty much great rapport with canada yet every time you enter in their soil you pretty much are always on edge because you don't know how they're going to treat you that says a lot right okay i put how much do they value the black lives by black lives, I don't mean the immigrants. I mean the black Americans. The black Americans, I know this is going to be a little bit of a controversial, but I don't care. The black American who still perceive themselves as African American. How, do, how much does the United States government like you? Before you answer that, how about you do a little research on the black painter? Do a little bit of a research on what happened in the U.S. with the black people. And then you can answer that, okay? All right, what? Now, I didn't put how, what? What is an immigrant to the United States government? I specifically said what? As an immigrant, you need to understand what kind of value do these people put on us? Who, what, are, what are we to them? 
what are we? What are you as an immigrant to the U.S.? Answer these questions, all right? There are real objectives in the 21st century. Should you trust any information coming out of the mouth of that particular government? Should you trust any information coming out of the mouth of that particular government? Now, these are questions that I worked on that as I put them out, you can reflect back on it. And you can take each question and answer it. You know, people, people want to say that they want to live a, a positive and a, a great life and they want to go to the U.S., they want to do this, they want to do that. <sighs> answer the questions, okay? Thank you so much for watching the videos and stay tuned for the next one where we are going to be talking again about the United States of America and how to protect yourself from its government and its acolytes. Thank you and you have a beautiful day.